Hi folks, my name is Jeff Cox. I'm the engineering director in charge of Bazel at Google. You can reach me at jeffcox at google.com. Just please don't DOS my inbox. I'm here to welcome you to this year's BaselCon and to talk to you about the state of Bazel. Let me start off by saying that I appreciate your willingness to participate in our virtual event this year and acknowledge the challenges in doing so. No one likes a virtual conference as much as a physical one. I am excited about the possibility of seeing you all in person at next year's BaselCon. I'd also like to thank this year's presenters. We have lined up a great set of talks for you that I hope you will find inspiring. You can find the full list of talks on the BaselCon website. I need to also remind you that all BaselCon participants are required to adhere to our code of conduct, which is also published on the BaselCon site. Finally, though I don't use Twitter a lot, I will encourage you to use the BaselCon hashtag on Twitter and to participate in the BaselCon Slack channel. The Bazel project remains focused on our enduring vision, which is that any software de developer can efficiently build, test, and package any project of any size or complexity with tooling that's easy to adopt and extend. Whew, that was a mouthful. With that in mind, I'd like to walk you all through some of our biggest highlights and lowlights over the past year that align with this vision and also with the goal of supporting a growing and thriving Bazel community. I'm really pleased to say that we have good news to share with you on many of the promises we made to you last year. At last year's BaselCon, I had to acknowledge that the project had accumulated quite a large backlog of issues and pull requests. Over the past year, we have made a concerted effort to address this problem. While we still have more work to do, and likely the work will never end, I'm happy to report that we now have fewer stalled high priority issues, as well as a low rate of unreviewed issues and fewer untriaged issues overall. You can keep tabs on us by visiting dashboard.bazel.build or by checking out our GitHub project page. Last year, we also committed to improving the experience of external contributors to Bazel. In service of this goal, we have adopted a new governance model, which is now published on our website. The new model both strengthens and clarifies the roles of external contributors, while also reaffirming Google's role as the chief steward of the Bazel project. We continue to welcome the community's feedback on our governance model. One of the key indicators of Bazel's success is the widespread usage of Bazel's remote execution API for builds and tests. This API allows Bazel to do what few other build systems can do, distribute individual builds across thousands of computers to dramatically reduce build times. This year, we have continued to invest in the development of the Remote Execution API and supported the ongoing efforts of the Remote Ex Execution API Working Group. It has been gratifying to see the growth in the quantity and quality of third-party server-side remote execution implementations. We hope this strong growth continues thanks to our support. Last year, I was really excited to announce our ambitious program to move the entire Android platform to Bazel. This program, in my view, is strong evidence of Google's commitment to support the Bazel project itself. This year, working hand, working hand in hand with our partners in the Android organization, we have made a great deal of progress on this program. For instance, Bazel now successfully interoperates with Android's existing build system, Zoom. In addition, low-level libraries, various platform embedded apps, and the Android kernel itself, no small feat, can now be successfully built with Bazel. By next year, we plan to support all rule types needed to build a platform and most platform build targets. And Bazel will be the default build system for new modules as well. One of our bigger announcements at last year's BaselCon was the arrival of long-term support releases, which many of our users have been clamoring for. Nobody likes a new version of Bazel to break their build. This year, we have delivered LTS version 4.0 and have announced the release of LTS version 5.0 as well. We have also shipped minor releases 4.1 and 4.2 to deliver backwards compatible support for key features such as Apple Silicon support. We continue to ship rolling releases and overall the community response to the LTS program has been extraordinarily positive. In addition to being difficult to pronounce, Starlarkification is our ongoing effort to migrate native rule functionality in Bazel to standalone Starlark rules. Doing so will make Bazel much easier to develop and maintain, and also commits us to ensuring that Starlark as an extension mechanism is both featureful and performant. 
we won't be able to cheat by using the native Java APIs in Bazel itself. This year, we have successfully removed native rule support from Bazel for a number of smaller rule implementations and made significant progress in star larkifying the C++ and Java rules, some of the most complex rule implementations in the Bazel codebase. We have also reduced rule technical debt and further improved Starlark rule performance. Be sure to catch Evo's presentation on the future of language-specific rules in Bazel for more information on this important effort. Consistent with our overall vision, we continue to focus on building functionality that enables Bazel to be better used and extended by the community. One new capability that I'm particularly excited about is Bazel's new support for external dependencies, which we call BZL mod. With BZL mod, Bazel projects can register themselves as modules with the Bazel registry, such as the Bazel central registry. A Bazel project can then use BZL mod to fetch external dependencies as modules from a specified Bazel registry. One key advantage of BZL mod is that a Bazel project need only specify its direct external dependencies. BZL mod then does a transitive dependency resolution automatically, including version selection. We also have plans for the Bazel central registry to support cross module and Bazel version testing and validation. Be sure to watch Yoon and Shu Dong's talk on external dependencies during the conference to learn more about this new feature. Overall, I'm really gratified to see the clear growth of Bazel adoption across the ecosystem, including new and novel usage of Bazel that takes place every day. We are reaching an inflection point in our growth and, be, and, and have become the go-to multi-language, multi-platform build tool for software. By next BazelCon, we will start to see adoption of Bazel by Android platform partners. When complete, the migration of the Android platform to Bazel will significantly expand the Bazel community and we look forward to welcoming Android platform partners to it. Over the next few years, we also expect distributed builds through the use of the remote execution API to increasingly become the standard way the industry builds and tests software, similar to how large-scale cloud-based distributed systems have replaced mainframes and on-prem computing for enterprise production workloads. Finally, we are really excited to see the community how the community will leverage our new external dependency support as well as the new Bazel Central Registry. With that, I really want to thank everyone from the community who has joined us for this year's BazelCon, as well as all of those who have contributed to organizing BazelCon to make it such a success. We really wouldn't be where we are without the community's active participation. And it's so gratifying to feel part of an active and growing and invested community in our projects. I really hope you enjoy the effort that has gone into all of the presentations we put together. Please also use the BazelCon uh, hashtag on social media to continue the conversation online as well. Thank you.